All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to some more EA Sports PGA Tour career mode. Thank you for the incredible support so far. It's been awesome. Before we jump back in and start up our new tournament on Pebble Beach, I wanted to say that the, the merch is now available as well, and it's absolutely killer. I love it so far. It's like a flower print design apex. You can get it on black or white, but uh, really comfortable and uh, fits really well. So yeah, I just thought I'd mention that if you want to help support the channel, or you can buy some Rogue Energy using my code, the Apex Hound. I'm mixing uh, strawberry kiwi with strawberry uh, bubblegum today. Two strawberry flavors, and they mix pretty well together as long as you don't do too much of both. If you do two full sco scoops, that shit's way too sweet. But anyway, we got a lot of rewards to open actually. Uh, some of them from career mode and some of them from the daily tournament and stuff that I did on stream yesterday. So the daily pro ranked is one that uh, I got from doing the tournament on, on stream yesterday. I think I finished like 300 178 or something so yeah i'm only gonna get one ticket out of that uh but the tickets always help and this is for the masters round one challenge so these, these are for the challenges that we did on stream 750 reward points and some xp as well not bad we also did a couple more of these i think i did like the the bubba watson challenges the scotty scheffler challenges the all of those kind of um masters challenges on stream and we got this one for a career mode part here official world golf rankings chapter two so i believe that's for being in, inside the top 150 or maybe the top 200 in the uh, official world golf rankings and we get 460 reward points pga tour trackers reward i don't know what this is for actually i don't actually know what this is for but uh i'm guessing something or other 540 reward points so we're getting a lot of points here and the daily tour elite ranked uh was the um was the last one that i got four tickets for that we did a little bit better in that one that was at chambers bay i think and that was a really tough course but yeah check out my other uh, ea sports pj tour content check out my 2k23 content as well if you want and check out my second channel starting a sherlock Holmes series on there today actually and doing a review of that as well so check out my second channel where pummeling towards 10,000 subscribers so i'd greatly appreciate it let's up our guy a little bit as well here at the start before we jump into pebble beach because we do have some stat points that i'd like to put in i'm actually going to leave driving accuracy as it is completely um from now until the end of time i don't even really see see the need to upgrade that because uh, driving accuracy until they patch it at least uh, i will put up my putting though uh, i've struggled with the putting quite a bit uh, we'll have to put three skill points into that. I've been doing pretty poor with the putts, especially the shorter putts I've been struggling with. You unlock the silver Texas wedge and the gold Texas wedge there eventually as well. So we have our short game quite high. Uh, I'm going to put my approach act or my approach hmm, recovery or control. I can do both, actually. Let's put up our power one more. Oh, we can't. Oh, okay. We get the power drive when we... I'm going to save up for that then. I'm going to save up for that and get the power drive in the next one. All right, let's go into Pebble Beach, one of the most beautiful golf courses, one of the most iconic golf courses in the world. The AT&T Pebble Beach Pro-Am begins now. Let's see if we can continue our good form to the start of the season. I think we were top 20 in both tournaments so far. Um, now, I know people have been talking about doing full rounds. I'm going to be doing full rounds in like tournaments like the Players and the Majors and stuff like that. I just feel like overall... The career mode would just take way too long if I was doing full rounds for every tournament, right? I feel like we'd be we'd, we'd not get anything done in the videos. We wouldn't even have time to do challenges and stuff like that, or the videos would be hours long. But anyway, let's jump in and start up the Pebble Pebble Beach Pro. And we're playing with Hideki Matsuyama, which uh, should be fun. I don't think we've played with Hideki yet. Uh, two to four mile an hour wins, fairway firmness average. How do I change that to tournament? Like, can I change it? I don't think like I can actually change that. Switch is the golf or something. But here we go. Let's have a look at Pebble Beach. Oh, the it really is one of the most beautiful golf courses in the world, though, isn't it? The season-long race for the FedEx Cup. From the Monterey and it's beautifully Peninsula, recreated here in EA Sports PG Tour. All right, we're out at 8 a.m. with Hideki Matsuyama. A nice early start. It's actually pretty early here at the moment. Not quite at 8 a.m., but 9 a.m. anyway. We have four holes to play. We're playing the first four holes. Okay, I like that. I like when you start on the first hole, actually. And we can pretty much cut the corner here, can't we? I mean, it's risky enough to try, but I'm going to do it anyway. We look at the golfer we're going to be following. Rookie on this tour. Still Let's get aggressive with it, Victor Hovland style. First time after two missed yeah. cuts. Is Perfect. there a danger of getting too discouraged early on? This Perfect. Is, I didn't miss two cuts. Exactly where the player feels right now. If all what? of a sudden it's three in a row, you start to think if I made the right decision. But I remember a, a line from the late great Arnold Palmer. He said, "Who are they talking about? That ain't me." Mental, and the other ten percent. Well, that's mental as well. <laughs> I love that quote. All right, Hideki. Ooh, a little bit long there, Hideki. That's fine, though. Fairways aren't too firm on the average conditions. 
All right, do they change them all four rounds? Do they like give us tournament conditions some rounds and stuff like that? I'm curious. All right, Hideki Matsuyama. I like Hideki. He's a top bloke and a master's champion at that. And so is John Ram now as well, guys. Masterful performance from John Ram at the Masters to claim his second major championship, and he's now in the in the conversation with the the likes of Kepka and DJ and McElroy as as being one of the best of the uh, of the modern era, 100%. Like he has to be in that conversation now. All right, little skipper with the finesse here should uh, should work nicely. Little low skipper trying to run it in there a little bit. Yeah, that's good. That's real nice. I'll skip up there. Oh, I didn't want that spin. I didn't want that spin. That's okay. All right. Well, I have two good looks at birdie here. Me and Hideki, but two uh, 15 footers for birdie. I don't know that I'd be fist pumping that hard about that shot. I wouldn't real life for sure. If I if I went to Pebble Beach and had a 15 foot birdie putt on, in real life I'd be hyped about it. But I don't know that my professional golfer character should be. All right. It breaks. Yeah, decent amount. Not too much though. I'm I'm. Thinking we don't give away too much of the hole, and that's a great start. Bang! Birdie on the first. Pebble Beach is going to be my bitch. Let's go, baby. Come on. Now, what I would love to do, if it was possible, guys, is do quick rounds through one and two, and then do full rounds for rounds three and four or something like that. But I don't think that's a possibility right now. Or even do two full rounds as the tournament. Now, I believe they are planning on patching that. Like, if I could do two full rounds, I'd be doing that for every PGA Tour event rather than doing these quick rounds. But um, doesn't seem to be a possibility right now, unfortunately. Uh, but I, I'm sure that it will be added uh, because they did have that in uh, they had that shown in the trailers and stuff like that that you could do two rounds and stuff like that but I believe it was causing crashes and bugs should fix it now hopefully, hopefully and um, add it back in that would be great beautiful tough tee shot actually this one that's a good one that's a good one no doubt Ooh. Richard, yes, nice kick the there. Drive, Beautiful man. kick. You know, Let's go, baby. Come on, son. Once you get on that first Let's have it. Level, Come on, Hideki. And then you sort of beat See what you got. I love all the people recording on their phones. Oh, he hit the tree. Hideki just hit the branch. That's where you start scratching your head and like, do I have the right club? And that's a fair And only ended up going like 270 odd yards, yards, I'd say. But I mentioned 75. So he can still probably go for that just about if he wants to, but it's a lot riskier now after hitting the hitting the branch. I mean, they're beautiful driving holes and iron play, but you know, Pebble's about the experience, uh, but it's also about it the legacy that this golf course has for America. So to compete at Pebble is one thing. Boom. To play well at Pebble, well, that's another thing as well. Oh, what a shot, Tadeki. Oh, what a shot. Didn't have enough check, but really hit that second nice shot from where he was. Not a bad lead from there. Should be an up and down from Hideki there. Oh, we can get, we can have a really good start here if we, uh, we hit a good one here. Now, I think that's probably too much club. I'm going to hit this club here, the six iron. got to kind of run in. I'm going to play a little bit of a draw here because I don't want to hit that tree. I don't think I will anyway, but just to be safe. And that's absolutely glorious. Oh, my God. Be the one. This is an eagle. Oh, my God. We're putting for eagle. 15-foot putt for eagle on two here at Pebble, and we are looking good, boys. Can we compete now at Pebble Beach? Let's go, boys. Let's absolutely have it. Come on! All right. Uh, get in there. Get in there. No! It would have been so nice to start Birdie Eagle. But we'll have to accept a uh, birdie here. Uh, I believe you can actually change your ball, ball marker. Someone commented on that, actually, that you can change your ball marker, and I should have a few options already. I need to actually check my equipment, because I got some new stuff, and I... <gasps> Hideki's robbed of a birdie! Because I have some new stuff, actually, um, like some new gear that I bought in the store and stuff that I haven't equipped yet. Like new shirts and stuff like that, which I need to put on. I didn't hit it. Ooh, we got away with it. We got away with it. Oh my god. That was nearly one of the worst three putts you'll see since the last video. All right. Hideki Matsuyama with a little two inch tap in par. And he starts par par. We start birdie birdie. This hole's fun actually. The dog leg third. He kind of got to draw it right around the tree there and uh, let it bomb on down the fairway. And if you don't draw it enough, you can end up in the bunker or the rough there. And if you draw too much, you can actually end up in the rough on the left hand side. All right, I'm actually going to hit just a three wood just to be a little bit safe on this all because we have a really good start. I don't want to bring any big numbers into the equation. So I'll just hit a, a three wood with a little bit of a draw. And that's the 
prime position there now. Absolutely prime position. That That's a good that. layup there. Smart layup. Still went 270. Got 100 yards in. Left ourselves a perfect wedge distance. He's got a three wood in his hand. Oh, he's switching to an iron, actually. Hideki laying up even further back than I did. But lovely swing by Hideki. And that's going to be probably like 150 or so, I would say, left. Something around that. One, yeah, 146. God, I'm good at guessing, guys. I've always been good with numbers. When that, like, Matt's, I, I think in Ireland, I was like the sixth best at Matt's in Ireland when I was in, like, one of the younger, younger classes. But then in secondary school, they brought algebra and all that shit into it. I was like... That's a good yeah, no. <laughs> like, I've always been good with addition and subtraction and stuff like that, and just general numbers. All right, let's see if we can put this close. I don't want this to spin too much, so I'm actually going to play a little bit of a low ball flight there. A little underswingy. That actually could work because it's fast. That's going to spin perfectly. Oh, no! Man, this game Come on, dude. Really That's cruel. Hits the pin and goes into the heavy rough. The green. And look at that lie, too. It's putrid. So a higher degree wedge. Okay, that's bullshit, though. I can't believe that. We have an awkward stance here, too, man. All right, let's see what we got. We can just somehow get this on there. Oh. I mean, that's just horribly unlucky. Overswung it and hit it fast as well. I just... I shouldn't hit it that hard with... The chips do run on a lot in this game. If we could save a power here. That would be massive. Go on, go on, go on, go on! No, no! That is cruel. Man, our our great start gone to waste now. Like, that is just straight up cruel there. I can't believe that. And Hideki drains it for the birdie. And somehow me and Hideki are the same score now. Incredible. Wow, what a slice of luck there. That was looking like it was going to be a guaranteed birdie to get three birdies in a row. But that's golf. That's golf. That's the realism of golf right there. It can happen. I remember Dustin Johnson in a great position. I think he was actually like getting close to leading the tournament. He hit, a, he hit the pin in the middle of the green and it hit the pin and spun back into the water. And he ended up with like a, a bogey or a double bogey or something. And so I was like, golf is cruel, man. And this is also where some of these decisions become quite critical. Do you try and drive this green 330 yards to the front? So tempted to try and drive it, but I don't think we have the distance right now anyway. I do love the the discussion on this hole though, and I, I I feel like I've played this hole maybe two or three times so far in this game, and I think twice well, that one's finished in the I've gone down onto the beach, and the other time I actually nearly went onto the beach, but kicked left and actually went into the bunker and I was fine. So I've never even came close to driving the green, so I think I'm just going to lay up with a little... A little three wood, finesse three wood, let it, let it run on down there. I don't want to get stupid and uh, and have a really bad finish this round, you know? Not the best three wood. See, if that was driver, though, that would have been OB. Yeah, that would have been down on the beach. Good, balance, good, follow good layup. We'll good still only have, like, a, a pitch shot in. Especially so on the last hole of our day. We're coming off a bogey. We don't want to, like, finish with an absolutely horrendous back-to-back -back bogeys or even worse here. Because it could easily happen. All right, let's play a little low ball flight finesse. I didn't put enough of a low ball flight on that, but I think that should still be pretty decent and give us a good chance of birdie there. Go in. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. Right decision. Let's go, boys. That's massive. Beautiful golf shot there. Hideki's looking to do something similar. He's played a little bit of a runner, actually. And that's a great shot from Hideki, too. We should both be finishing off with birdies to be 200 through four. Hideki likes it. Look at that. He loves it. I love working my way around Pebble Beach and making decisions on it. Good birdie, Hideki. Yeah, well done. Back-to-back well -back birdies for Hideki here. Matsuyama. A little fist pumping away to the crowd. And we are both walking off 200 through 4. Now, let's see what how, how the sim... Uh, how the sim does it for us. It 2 under for the, ra for the round, too. Okay. Back-to-back -back bogeys on 8 and 9. But overall, 2 under ain't too bad. Aaron Wise, 6 under. Adam Long, 6 under. Tommy Fleetwood, 5 under. Okay. Honestly, we could have been 4 under there. Like, we could have been four under for those four holes, and we probably would have been four under on the sim, and we would have got to... We would have been in the top ten. The bad luck hurt us there, for sure. The bad luck definitely hurt us on uh, on hole three. I was thinking we were staring three birdies in the face right there. Three birdies in a row. We would have birdied all four holes then. But, c'est la vie. This is, uh, this is golf, as I said. Now, let's have a look at those, uh, those outfits I was talking about and the equipment that I have. I don't think I have any new equipment, per se, but I have some new outfits, for sure. Let's see. Let's just put this on. 
Shirts wise, we got some new Adidas shirts, I believe. Blue one doesn't really work, does it? Ah, oh, that works. I like that. Okay. Let's see. Cobra glove, yeah. Is this a little too out there, this this outfit? The blue pants with the black hat doesn't really fit, I don't think. I need like a different colored hat. And I don't think that one fits. No, no, that's too out there for sure. I like that outfit. All right, we'll go with that. So round one, round two, round three, round four. Round four, the blue pants do suit. So we'll stick with that. Let's change round three though. Let's put on the blue top maybe. I mean, that looks pretty slick actually, right? The black and blue kind of goes together nicely, I'll say. I do have some new bags as well. We have the player's bag or we have, which was better. I, I like the master's one a little bit more just because we have the head covers for the master as well. Where do I find like the ball marker and stuff? Is that in here potentially? Ah, yes, here we go. Let's see, the ball marker. We have the open one on actually. Yeah, I do have that one on. Ball trail, we don't have any ball trails. We don't have any ball specs either. Now the specs I think are the stuff that make you really powerful, but I don't want to get them yet just because I feel like it might make everything a little bit easy too quickly, you know? I don't want that right off the bat. So let's do a couple of sponsor challenges, try and unlock some more clubs and stuff like that. I would love to unlock a, a hybrid. Hit three shots within 10 foot, hit three shots within 15 foot and land all five shots on the green. I mean, why would I not be able to land all five shots on the green? How do I not have three stars on that already? All right, that one is done and dusted. That was just easy. I just had to finish that one off, the little tailor-made runner. I wasn't even hitting a runner. I was hitting a bloody pitch shot, but whatever. Burner bubble from the beginning. Hit all five drives in the fairway. Hit three drives, 300 yards or better, and earn three advanced fairways in regulation. Okay, we can do that. Uh, Why does it always stop? Oh, it's this one. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, can, I can manage with that. Not the easiest hole to hit the fairway. And honestly, I'm not sure I can get 300 yards on this my power yet i think we should be able to because once it goes over that hill it goes kind of down the other side of it that should be 300 eventually right around there yeah 306 okay perfect all right should be good i'm hoping Right, that's actually probably why the, f the fade is kind of handy, the high fade. Let's come back, hit a little bit of an underswing you want, and... Yeah, please. God, why do I keep missing the fairway on the last fucking one every time, man? That's two in a row now, where I've had four fairways in a row and I hit the bloody last one right into the rough. All right, I've hit four fairways in a row. Am I going to bottle it again? Third time lucky, surely. If I don't hit the fairway here, I'm genuinely going to lose my mind and never play the game again. I thought that was, <laughs> I thought that was gonna kick right into the bunker and stay there. Ball. Okay, we did it. <laughs> we just about did it. No more drills. Play the ninth hole at Tory Pines. Get a fairway in regulation. Get an under GIR and make a birdie or better. We gotta eagle this thing basically. Um, or we got to give ourselves an eagle chance. We got to be on the green and two putting for eagle. Stealth education. You may not always want to land the ball on the green to hit it close. Learn how coming up short can sometimes lead to easier putts. The fuck am I getting it? No, there's no chance. Are they joking? There's zero chance I get this on in two. Well, definitely not like that anyway. <laughs> there's actually zero chance. I can get two stars, but there's no chance I'm going to be putting for eagle in any capacity. I need my power up at least two more, I would say. Maybe even more than that. I need Dustin Johnson kind of power to go. He's playing 615 yards, guys. What do they want from me? I don't even have a power drive yet. I'm going to go right again. Left this time. That's actually okay. All right, come on. I mean, power approach, maybe we can run it on there. Who knows? 290? No chance. <laughs> there's just zero chance. Unfortunately, I mean if I get like literally the best shot of my life here If it comes off the face absolutely perfectly with a little bit of overswing and a little fast I could be the one you just never know but to have it That's the softest shit bounce I've ever seen are you shitting me uh, with a three wood power approach it oh you You little rat That it was Absolutely ratty, let me tell you something. Go in. 
How about that, baby? How about that, though? We eagled it. Come on. I got some massive pit stains there. Oh, man. I hit the two best shots I could have hit, and I still didn't get the under JR, so I definitely need more power for that. A couple more in the power, though, and we should be able to should be able to get those uh, those two... That extra star, rather. Stealth education. I want to see what this one is like, actually. The final one here. Land seven shots on the green. Hit four shots within 15 foot. And hit one shot within 10 foot. Right, I think seven iron here is the club. Not a, not a good shot. Might get away with it, though. Need a big bounce. Okay, seven iron is not the club, because even if I did hit that perfect or... Fast or whatever, I don't think that's getting there anyway because it's stopping dead on me. But the problem is, like, this ain't get. Alright, this is too much, clearly. Maybe a high fade with this bad boy. We got 10 efforts at this. Is that what it is? 10 efforts and we need 7 balls on the green? Yeah, I mean, it's pretty soft, but 25 foot away. Alright, let's try a full 7 iron one more time here. Uh... Try full 7 iron and just. If we don't hit it slow, let's see what happens. That's way too much overswing. That's probably too far. No, it's still short. Okay. Well, yeah. We know for a fact that that's not a, not the club now. So we need the six iron, and we need to not overswing it or not hit it fast, basically. Oh, bad one. Let's restart this because this is going terribly so far. Damn it. A little under swinging slow. Ah! Bad shot. Oh! I flat out suck right now, guys. I'm sorry. I'm fucking flat. I don't think I'm going to be able to get any of these, to be honest. Again, just shit. You, you suck, Turlock. I'm sorry to break it to you, but you, you suck. I could be okay. Oh, that's such like. I don't understand how I'm supposed to do it. If it bounces that softly on the fairway, but then when it bounces on the green, it goes like 10, 20 foot, or 20, 25 foot by. It's like how am I supposed to balance it? Seems impossible almost. There you go. That's the one. That's one star at least. 10 foot surely. Yes. All right. We got the one star at the end there. Thank God. I was losing, ready, close to losing my mind there. I'll take the one star for now and dip. Let's go and do Pebble Beach round two. Oh, we're four under now. We're three shots back. We're in the mix. I don't know what score Jordan speed is, but we're starting with a power five here. If we can birdie this, we can get ourselves right into the mix here. I like this little new outfit that we have as well. We reach this? Maybe. your leader. He shows the way at seven under. So we'll pick up the action on the tee. Aaron Wise is your leader. He leads the way at seven under. Okay. We got away with that because that wasn't a great stroke, but luckily it was kind of, the wind was kind of coming off that side, I think. A little bit. Wow, oh, there's no chance we reach. Jay Spizzle. I haven't seen much of Jordan in this game, actually, which is, it's cool to finally see him here. He's plus one, so he's not having his best day. He's going to need to grind to make the cut here, I'd, I'd assume. But he said a good drive out there next to us. A little bit further than us, of course. As Jay Spizzle would, even with minus 7% power. I want the knockdown shot as well. How do I unlock the knockdown shot? I want that for, for high wind kind of situations. All right, that should work. Good layup. The crowds are packed here. Jam-packed. I will say that much. I think 2K updated their crowds as well because it felt like they were more packed as well. Maybe they just... I don't want it to match up with what so EA was doing. Cut line's minus one, so Jordan needs a big finish here, man. Are we playing the last last five holes here? I think we are. Playing the last five holes of Pebble today. Hopefully we play like the middle five or six in round three, and then obviously we'll be playing the last five again on the end. All right, third shot looking for a good one. This is a tough par five, man. Even your third shot, a lot of elevation changes. Still a tough one. But finesse shot there will hopefully... But that's pretty close. Don't spin. Don't spin. Don't spin. Don't spin. Should have probably low ball flat that a little bit, but that's a good shot. 17 footer for a birdie on on the uh, on the par five. Jordan Spieth. Let's see what he can do with his third shot. That's not great. Not great, Jordan. 
pulled a little bit, and that's not great at all. Where's Speed Legion right now? Where's Speed Legion? Speed Legion gone missing. You're missing the green from fucking 50 yards out, Jordan. All right, let's see if Jay Spizzle can chip it in. I need uh, I need Speed Legion tracking uh, Jordan Speed's shots in this. All right. Gonna be a tap-in par for Jordan. Well, tap-in. He's missed uh, he's missed shorter putts than that, to be fair. But it would be lovely if we could start with a birdie here and get ourselves right into contention off the rip. Conversion on putts like this, even when he's not close to the hole, he's left himself with very makeable opportunities. No, I didn't give it enough. Uh, Nope. And enough break that is not enough pace. Okay. Jordan Speed and Taylor Keeley are going to start with pars here on 14. Not ideal considering the situation that Speed is in, but a par for me will do just fine. Okay, good. Par. Speed needs some birdies. He's coming off a double bogey. He was actually inside the cut line before the 13th hole there. Super realistic. And a good par there. All right. If we can be within like two or three by the end of this round, I'll be real nice. It's out of bounds. Well, you can't afford to go right. Yeah, anything down there. Yeah, I'm tempted to it up here, honestly. Unfortunately, it's a downhill tee shot. I'm going to hit three, but... there's sort of five, four bunkers really down the left side. But really, it's the pop bunker that has to be avoided. Yeah, and that's what I'm... That's why I'm hitting three, but I want to avoid that pop bunker. I still might hit it even with the three-wood here. Yeah, smart play to hit nice three wood. We would have been in there with driver. Would have been in the middle of it probably. So smart play there. Apex playing smart. It's rare to see, but you know it's it's a beautiful thing. Cut lines move to even. Cut lines move to even. Jordan, you just need a couple birdies, brother. Jordan Spieth hitting a in a little light driver down there. He's gonna be in there for sure. He's gonna be in there. Oh Jordan. Oh Jordan. What are you up to? That's not enough. I feel like. All right, I want a little finesse because I don't want as much spin on this. I want a little bit of a lower ball flight finesse here. A little fade, low, whippy finesse shot. That's not good. Stuck the follow it's great. Right this could be really good. It's a beautiful shot. That's a good I thought for a second it wasn't getting there because of the underswing, but I think it would have been long if I didn't underswing it. Jordan Spieth going a little left here. Ball above his feet. Needs to spin from there. Oh! Oh, wasn't far away from being really good there. Gordon, he gives it a little wry smile. You can tell he's pissed off, though. He needs something special to happen here to make the cut. He's going to putt this one. All right. That's what you got, Jordan. Oh, my God. He smashed it. Oh, Jesus, Lord, Jordan Speed. I've never seen a man smash hole. a putt. Did they not take into account the goddamn hills or something? <laughs> like, what the hell? You need to make this for par now, Jordan, or you are missing this cut. This is the Jordan Spieth experience right here. He holds yeah, it for par. Big there. putt, and he's still in with a chance of making the cut. All right, good birdie chance to get with, to get to five under. I want to be in contention here. Bang! Money! Cash! Let's go! Let's go. I want to be in contention here, boys. Let's finish real strong here. I said I want to be within two or three by the end of this round. Let's see if we can do that. We're within three now. Aaron Wise, of course, has only played three holes, though. I think if we can get to, like, seven under, we'll be within three by the end of this round. We'll, we'll see. I think around ten under is going to be leading it, but I could be wrong. I mean, there's no point in me going hitting driver here. Absolutely zero chance. I actually am going to just hit hybrid here. Yeah, we're going to TPC Scottsdale next week, boys. This should be fun. I just played TPC Scottsdale with Trent Ryan, actually, trying to break 90. Even with hybrid, I'm still too far. Jesus Lord. That's perfect, actually. Uh, on 2K23, I just did TPC Scottsdale, so it'll be interesting to see how different they look on each game. Should be fun. Except Prague doesn't have the 700,000 people. It's the greatest gate. Some say the greatest show on grass. It really is. That 16th hole. I'll tell you just one quick little story. Tom Watson in his heyday with the late. Tell me the story about 16. I love 16. One hole he did. He changed his routine. He would get Bruce to go ahead to the tee. All those people around him just say, "Give me the club and hit it." It was the one time he broke tradition. It's absolute frenzy at Scottsdale. It really is. It's a frenzy on that 16th hole. Jordan Spieth. I don't know why they don't, like, change club more often. It seems like they just, like, take power off the driver rather than hit a 3-wood or something, you know? Like, his 3-wood would have gone that far. Or, is that it? That is a 3-wood. Oh, okay. That's definitely not driver. Let's see what we go. We'll see what we go. I think the 128 50 degree will be absolutely perfect here. Small bit of a lower ball flight, but the fact that this is downhill is going to probably make it Go a little further anyway, so I'm think. Oh, it didn't come in with the this with the slope really. Good. Oh, what a kick! Oh my God! 
I know it's that was the bounce we needed right there. I thought we were going to have a little bit of a tough one from there, but that was absolutely beautiful. Wow, what a goddamn shot that is. Jay Spizzle looking to put this close. Oh, yeah. Jordan's looking to make the cut. Oh, Jordan's looking to make the cut. Two great shots there. Two brilliant shots there. Jordan Spieth waves to the crowd. And this would get him inside the cut line as it stands right now. But this is a tough one. It's hardly going to break that much, is it? My God, it is. <gasps> you didn't hit it. You didn't hit it, Jordan. His marker's on the hole there. That's just cruel. Come on, man. We're in contention here at Pebble Beach. Come on. Jordan okay, Speed taps it in for a par, and he's still one outside the cut line as it stands. He probably needs 100 to be sure he's safe. We're two back! Two back! We're in contention in our third tournament here. It's incredible stuff. Yeah, Seven mile an hour win behind us. This should be absolutely perfect, man. Oh, I hit it fast, though. Ah, that's a big miss. And of course, that's a big miss. Might have had too much club anyway, to be honest, but that's a huge miss, man. Been solid so far. Just need to get up and down for a par, though. No bogeys. Jordan, that's short. That's short, Jordan. Is that going to carry? No. Jordan Speeth is having a stinker here. I, I don't fancy Jordan to get up and down, to be honest. All right, let's see. Yeah, good shot. Good shot. Good bunker shot. Got about five foot left for our par. He loves it. All right, Jordan's probably going to blast this. I find that's why the AI are bad out of the bunker, because they always play blast. See? Like, they always run out like crazy. And Jordan has a long putt for a par. It looks like he's going to miss the cut now. Jordan Speed battling to make the cut, and he has a long putt for par here on 17 before the par 5 at 18. If you can make this, Jordan, you never know. You can still make the cut. Last hole, you can birdie it. But it's not looking good for him right now. That's low. It's low. Jordan Spieth is going to miss the cut of Pebble. He's despondent. He's sickened. But what a view this is. No, I missed. Maybe a misread there, and that curls by to the left. How does that turn that much, man? I played. I I tried to play it through the break a little bit, but it just still turned yeah, like a motherfucker. Well and that's a horrendous bogey when you're in contention here at Pebble. We've had both rounds. We've just had a silly bogey, you know. We've had a silly bogey both rounds, and if we could have avoided that, we would have been a okay. But Selavi can make it back here with a birdie or an eagle on 18, hopefully. Oh yeah. Give it to me, baby. Look at that. Think about what's happened here. Who's played this hole? Who's made history here? Then you let it rip. Let it rip, baby. What a view. Beautiful, man. Beautiful, Frankie. Beautiful. All right. The crowds are packed in. We need to give the people what they want here and give ourselves an eagle putt. And we just left that tree. That's absolutely position A. Beautiful shot. Not the longest drive. We still have 234 left, but that's more than reachable. Jordan Speed's going to need an eagle. Nothing else is good enough for Jordan to make the cut. And he's hitting three wood when he needs an eagle to make the cut. Jordan. Jordan, Jordan, Jordan. What are you doing, man? What are you doing here? He's playing it as a three-shotter. Doesn't want to go in the water. I don't think he's even going for this, to be honest. Although, although, what do I know? I'd love it if he made that and made the cut. That would be awesome. <laughs> that would be absolutely awesome. All right. Great shot, Jordan. Great shot. Let's see if we can do the same thing here. It's a lot better than that's too much, though. That's not enough. What about a finesse with the hybrid? High fade finesse with the hybrid is the one I'm going for. Good shot. Come on, be good. Be good for me, baby. Middle of the green. Same as Jordan, pretty much. All right. And the low spin finesse is not going to help us there with the stop. So we're in the rough. A little bit long, but uh, we can chip it, chip it close and get ourselves a birdie. That's what I'm going to do here. So 54... 54 degree wedge high need this to stop up if we can 
beautiful chip. It's a beautiful chip. Go in! Oh, what a chip. Sit. Sit. All right. A little bit of a tester. A five-foot tester for a birdie here on the last. I would love to birdie this, though, and uh, and finish with a birdie. It would be... Um, I'd love to birdie this and finish with a birdie. Yes. <laughs> Crowds are massive here. Jordan Spieth needs an eagle here. He needs to make this to make the cut. We climb up 25-plus places with this. Nothing but the center of the cup is good enough for Jordan. No, Jordan, no. Damn it, man. Jordan Spieth has missed the cut at Pebble Beach. I mean, there's a slim chance that goes to one over at the end of the day, but I don't see it. I can't believe it. Why do I keep missing those ones low? Like, I, I used to overread them massively. Now I'm underreading them every single fucking time. And that's just a pathetic par. It's a pathetic finish to the round. It's a bogey okay, par so finish. Par Pathetic after start, after having the two birdies in a row as well. We par both the par fives that we played. That's an absolute nightmare. That's a nightmare for Jordan Speed okay, too. It's so a miscut we'll at Pebble Beach. At we're going to be inside the top the 10, I'd imagine, but we're not going to be that close to the lead. I was hoping we'd be close to the lead. We're four shots off. I mean, we're still in with a shot. Not bad at all, guys. Not bad at all. That was uh, that was solid. Have a look and see if there's any quick sponsor challenges we could do as well. Welcome to the TaylorMade team. Scotty... <laughs> wow. You're playing against Scotty Scheffler on par threes? That's fun. Go through this putting drill. Okay, I want to see the putting drill. All right, so what? We have to make six or more putts, make nine or more... Nine of more putts. That's just a, a typo, I think. And then make 12 or more putts. How many putts is there? Jesus Lord. A difficult one, though. Ain't no joke. Ain't no hobby. It's a good putt, though. Is it the same putt over and over again, or is it different ones every time? I think it's the same one over and over again. Maybe there's, like, a couple different locations that you putt from. No. All right, we made one. Was that, is that any good? Master. Got away with it, though. Come on. All right. There you go. I think we probably got at least two stars. Okay, 12 or more? How many did I have? Probably around 10 or so. All right, not bad, though. Two stars. A little uh, putting drill to end the video. I hope you guys enjoyed that one. If you did, make sure to drop a like. It's the best way to let me know you enjoyed the content, and I'll see you guys soon. It's been my pleasure to serve you all. Peace out, boys. See you next time. Break.